How's it going, people? You're doing fucking fantastic. I hope you're doing half as good. Or twice as good, even. The reason why I'm doing so well is I've got all these great ideas for uh, future YouTube videos, and three of them just fell right into my lap in the past couple of days. On Thursday, I found this on the ground. It's a little pamphlet, no artwork. It's United in Worship. And on the back, it's got, I don't know if that's Korean or Chinese, but it looks like it's the same uh, story. I will read this um, soon. Doesn't look as interesting, but I will read it. And yesterday, being Friday night, I was at Panera's using their free Wi-Fi, because they don't have any at home right now, and I found this stuck in my windshield. And it wasn't the only one. They had two of them. <laughs> two for the price of one. <laughs> so, I've decided I'm going to read this one first. Because there's less to it. <laughs> and I can only stomach one of these a day, so let's do this. Because everybody wants to know how to get to hell, right? I think you got to take the highway to hell. <laughs> uh, and uh, this is a good start. Some of these. Almost done. And I got some, picked up some beer. So maybe I'll do um, this one with some beer. Anyhow. Uh, you can see I'm, I'm stalling here. Okay. All right. What must I do to go to hell? <sighs> the answer? Nothing! <laughs> yeah. That's, there's no print. You're just seeing uh, print on the other side. See? Nothing. Blank. Isn't that clever? It's almost like a, an atheist tract, you know? Here's what we believe in. Nothing! We believe that the shit you believe in is silly. Anyway, that's what you gotta do. Nothing. And look at all those, you know, looks like propane, or maybe that's, no, that's charbroiled. Okay, now, on the flip side, <laughs> what must I do to be saved from hell and all that fire? Okay, so basically, you don't have to do anything to go to hell. You're gonna go there. You better do something so you don't. Gee. Okay, so you don't have to do anything bad to go to hell. That's interesting. You could be a child molester, a serial killer. Uh, uh, you could cheat on your taxes or on your wife or husband or whatever. That's doing something. And to go to hell, you've got to do nothing. To go to the happy hunting ground, you got to do stuff. So let's find out what it is. Oh, what must I do to be saved? Realize. All we, like sheep, have gone astray. We have turned every one to his own way. The nerve. <laughs> and the Lord hath laid on him the iniquity of us all. Him is capitalized, you know, the Lord being God, and God being the Lord, and the Father being the Son, and the Son being the Father, and the intercession between himself and himself. <sighs> Makes sense if you don't really think about it much. Um, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Sounds like God comes short of the glory of God. Uh, it is appointed unto men once to die, but after this the judgment. And then some of this. And that's from Isaiah 53.6, Romans 3.23, and Hebrews 9.27. So, I mean, that's all the evidence you need right there. Next thing you got to do is repent. 
Sound familiar? You've probably heard all this before, huh? Uh, just in case you haven't, I'm trying to help. Um, Except ye repent, ye shall all likewise perish. You're going to perish whether you repent or not. <laughs> Perishing is dying. <sighs> I know they think that means hell, but it says perish as in dying. The wages of sin are death. <laughs> it means whatever they want it to mean. Okay. Repent ye therefore, and be converted that your sins may be blotted out. So let's say you're a serial pedophile tax dodger. And um, you've done other bad things too. You can just wipe all those bad deeds away. Hmm. And Jebus has paid for your crimes. It's like you never did them. See, all you got to do is uh, be, feel sorry for, about it. You might have to repeat this step a few times, maybe a thousand or so. I mean, it worked for the BTK killer, you know. He's saved. Most of the serial killers are, you know. It's like they never did anything wrong, you know. Because, you know, they did something, something bad. And doing nothing is what will get you to the bad place, you know, Hades. Third thing you got to do. Because, you know, threes, everything comes in threes, it's a magic number. Uh, receive. But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God. Even to them that believe on his name. So that's enough, huh? See, it's doing nothing that'll get you here. Doing something, even something bad, apparently that's just, that's fine. As long as you feel bad about it, maybe a little guilty or creeped out. It's like, God, why do I keep doing these bad things? I feel so terrible. I think I'll get in my closet and tell my imaginary friend how sorry I am. How bad I feel about it. Well, Jesus paid for those crimes. I don't have to make restitution or... You can't undo a lot of the harm you do in the world. But if you feel bad about it in secret, it's all looking up. Yeah, this is so moral. Okay. If thou shalt confess with thy mouth, not somebody else's, the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. And that's from John 1, 12 and Romans 10, 9. <coughs> and that's about it for this. It's um, moments with a book. And um, anyway, I'll put the information where it goes. You know where it can go. <laughs> Anyhow, I hope this is... Um, made a difference, and uh, let me know. Did this save you? Did it move you? Did it change your life or teach you something? Please share. <sighs> Peace the fuck out. Have a wonderful, whatever the fuck it is you're having. Maybe I will do another one.